Right, welcome back to the channel. This video is about overrunning alternator pulleys. These things, this is an alternator and these are my ways to check whether the pulley is working correctly. So my preferred way of, of checking is if I had a belt on it would, and the engine's obviously not running, it would hold the uh, pulley steady and you should be able to feel these fan blades and you won't be able to push them in one direction but you will be able to push them in the other. So I can't push it one way, I can push it the other. The other way you can test is uh, the, the opposite way round. Obviously you can, you can hold the, uh, the fan steady and you can see that the pulley turns freely in one direction, but not the other. The other way you can test is if you take this cap off, which obviously might destroy the cap. You can place a tool in the center like this, and this is if the belt is still on. You place a tool in, and you'll be able to turn it freely in one direction, but not the other. And actually, one of the simplest things you can do is just feel, because you'll feel that you'll be able to spin the alternator and it will keep going in one direction, but in the other direction it won't. So what do we need uh, overrunning alternator pulleys? What do they do? Well, when your engine runs, it doesn't actually run smoothly, it runs in pulses. Um, because each time the, the cylinder fires, it uh, twangs down the belt. And the alternators now are very powerful and have a lot of weight and a lot of momentum. So if it were to just spin the belt, um, spin the pulley, it would actually cause the belt to, to move around a lot. So these pulleys enable the alternator to be driven by the belt, but the belt, the alternator not to try and drive the belt backwards. So they mean that the um, alternator belt runs very smoothly. Now, quite often these pulleys lock up, so they don't freewheel and they don't overrun and you will actually find that it will be a bit like this. It will be just locked in both directions. So you can change the whole alternator and that's a perfectly fine thing to do. The other perfectly fine thing to do is to change the pulley. And for that, you'll need one of these uh, tools. They normally come in a kit. I'll probably put a link to a kit in the description below. And uh, how it works is that you hold the center of the alternator steady with this bit that goes in here and you'll undo the alternator uh, pulley. Now, the way to determine which way to undo it is to see which way um, the belt drives the alternator. So you can see that if I hold the outside steady, the belt is driving the uh, pulley clockwise like this. So that'll be trying to do it up. So we need to undo this anti-clockwise. If the alternator turned anti-clockwise ordinarily, then it would be the opposite way around. So we put the tools in like that, and then we get uh, two spanners. We can uh, put one over here, and we can put one over here. And so what we're going to do is we're going to hold one steady and move the other one. And oh, there we go. And then what happens is that you'll just be able to do this now by hand, and spin the pulley off like so. Now you can normally do this in the vehicle. Sometimes uh, it's very tight and you have to take the alternator off and you'll find you can just take the pulley off like that and there's the alternator pulley. To install, you just pop the pulley on and you can just spin it on by hand. Pop the tools back in. Uh, and obviously oh, it does up the opposite way. Help if I put the right size on. So I try and turn the actual pulley clockwise whilst holding the alternator like that. And that's pretty much it. Obviously, he's got a little bit stuck in there. There we go, and we pop the cap back on. 
and that's how it works. So thanks for watching. Um, hopefully that explains most of the stuff there is to know about overrunning alternator pulleys.